What's going on, everyone? It's Bart from Delft Driverless right here, and this is episode two of Driverless Diaries. So as promised, we're going to be taking a look at the TU Delft Dream Hall, which is right behind me. We are located right next to the TU Delft campus. You can just about make out the central Mako Park, as we call it, and that's uh, civil engineering right there. So yeah, as I said in the last video, this is where a bunch of teams like ours are located, uh, and we work on special projects and usually compete in competitions during the summer period. So... Yeah, we're gonna go show it off right now. Instead of talking about it from the outside. All right, so this right here as we enter is the lobby. So this is actually not one of our old cars, but this is when Forza attempted to uh, mimic us. Actually does look quite nice, but obviously our cars are way better. Um, this right here is a bike, a very fast bike. As you can see, it has a uh, aerodynamic cocoon around it. So I think it goes up to like 100 kilometers per hour. 120. This right here is the Nova bike, so um, currently they're running on electric, but this is an old variant which runs on bioethanol apparently. And this is actually one of our old cars. This one is from 2010, which is quite some time ago. Our team is uh, 20 years old at this point, so this one is 10 years old. This is one of the old combustion engine cars. Um, in the Elden years, we used to run on combustion engines. Now we run on electric engines. And then this year, we're also doing driverless, obviously. See the nice logo on my shirt. Uh, so that's the lobby, which already gives you a nice impression of what we do around here. Uh, there's some 3D printers, like right over there. And uh, that right there is the machine hall, which we'll take a look at in a second. But uh, there's some lathes around there, which you can use to create parts. But right now, we're going to go upstairs in order to take a gander at the uh, kitchen and common area. Okay, so this right here is the common area. So in order to increase productivity for all the teams, it's obviously handy that we can eat together. So this right here is a very long table with some loaves of bread laid out on it as well. With a kitchen to go along with it, obviously. So usually most of the full-time members, they will eat together during lunch and during dinner. So you just pop out, somebody else will cook for you and you can enjoy your dinner and have some team bonding as well. Then the most important room right here, it has a copy machine, which is only empty about half of the time. Then there is some um, meeting rooms and presentation rooms to go along with this. So if you have a very important sponsor pitch to hold or some event, you can book this room. Anyways, we're going to go to the top right here, which uh, holds a bunch of offices. Uh, now, some of these are like flex areas where you can rent a room and you know have a meeting or something. And some of them are offices for teams. So who's actually in there? There. So this is the Rocket Club. And then we will move to our office, which is like all the way over there. Uh, full disclosure, we did actually clean up a bit for this uh, video footage because it was a whole mess in our office. But then again, the competition is nearing, so we don't really have a lot of time for housekeeping. So this right here is our office, Delft Rivalis. This is actually an old flex area which uh, got converted into our office. Uh, when we started out with this team, we didn't actually have an office. So this is our official office with official Delft Rivalis fan. Oh, look at that. Being a TU Delft Dream Team has its perks. So right there is our big planning of the coming competition season um, with a bunch of post-it notes in order to swap them around if needed. And then some dual monitor setups. Our team manager who's been trying to dodge us. You can see the boss on his chair right there. <laughs> right, so Rutger, what is the current status of the car? Do you wish to share anything with our beloved family members and sponsors? Um, sure. So the car is uh, driving pretty well now. Uh, the guys are actually out on the test track right now uh, trying to make it even faster. we can complete uh, laps of the track, um, albeit not as fast as we'd like, uh, but we're, we're making good progress and every single testing day the car gets faster. Um, so I'm very happy with the, uh, where we're at right now. Well, as you can hear, our big boss has confidence in our team, so uh, surely it's going to work out. Rusker has never let us down, so we will hope that he continues to not do so. Um, yeah, some technical mumbo jumbo right there. I'm just from operations, so I don't know what any of that means, but it looks very sophisticated. Um, and then the fridge. Now, don't look at the beer. Uh, we don't drink in this tea. It's just for decoration. And the closet with like a bunch of cooking supplies and food. And uh, that's about our office. Um, yeah, 
<laughs> it's pretty crammed in here, but it's our spot. Actually, right over there is the office of our sister team, which is a bit bigger. You can see some very, very busy little beavers in there. You can just about catch a glimpse of the team manager at the back there. Actually, if you hang over this way without dropping my camera, there are some of our old cars which we've hung on the wall. Um, that is the very first car right there. Braking speeds of about 5 kilometers per hour. <laughs> Actually, we'll go down in order to show off the, uh, the workplaces. And thus we enter the work floor. Uh, out here you can hold some events as well. We've got some tables laid below that stage right there. So if you need to organize a party here, you can also do so after working hours. Uh, this right here is Dare's workspace. These are some lathes right here, which we can use to create custom parts. Then we move over to the solar boat team, which, well, as the name would indicate, builds a very large boat which runs on solar energy. Is that last year's model or this year's model? I believe that's last year's because this year's is currently competing in Monaco. Ah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, that is Nova bike right there with somebody that's working a Friday shift. This is Human Power Team also working on a Friday. They're carrying probably this year's bike, I assume. My cameraman is nodding, so that is probably a yes. And some more machinery right over here, so if we need custom parts, we usually make them ourselves. So this workshop right here facilitates that. It's also very loud here, normally. Uh, then this right here is Forza with their pink car. Their main sponsor is uh, very fascinated with the color pink, so that's why they have that. And now we move over to the importance section of this workshop. So we already saw the cars hanging there, but you can probably get a better shot of it right here. Uh, in order from right to left, they go 2003, 2005, 2006, 2009, and 2004. Anyways, moving on to our workshop right here. So, um, as Rusker already said, our car is out testing today. Normally it would be here, and there's like 10 people that are working on it at the same time. And then to our actual working station, which, well, you're probably more familiar with these things than I am. Uh, I think this is like a battery shield. They a fireproof storage box for the accumulators in case anything happens with them and they spontaneously combust. The box will keep everybody in here safe. I mean, it's just a generic working space. You know, you got, uh, I've got a couple of tool, uh, tool closets. Got yeah, a couple tool of normal station closets. right here from mine and some. Yeah. We're very happy with their tools. We've got a couple of carbon rims here. We've got a couple of tires, a fridge. And then the beauty right here. This is our sister team's car, currently without wheels. Are we allowed to show it off? I'll show the nose, but maybe not more than that. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna move past it then. Secrecy. <laughs> and then this is the Dot 17. So also a nice blue color scheme with the sharky eyes in front. Um, yeah. What more can we say about it? it leaves me speechless every time. <laughs> well, my cameraman is speechless, and so am I. So it is also a beauty of a car. Um, zero to 100 in how many seconds? 2.2. 2.2 seconds, so quite some acceleration in that tiny bad boy. Um, which leaves us at the end of the, the workshop. A gigantic door which you can use to load anything in or out. Now, just in case you're curious as to how our teammates across the pond are situated, uh, they were actually nice enough to send over some video footage of them in their office, busily at work. I can't actually tell which office is bigger, but obviously ours is way cooler. In any case, that leaves us at the end of this video, so the future uploads will probably include some footage from our planned competitions. So the first competition is going to be Formula Student Italy. We are nearly about to leave for that, and then thereafter in August we're going to go to Formula Student Germany. Now hopefully the competitions are going to include good weather and gold medals for us, but we will keep you updated with that.